What is up everyone? My name is Cody aka Temper Void and today guys we're gonna be playing Fallout 4. So Fallout 4 came out about I want to say three years ago now? Was it 2015 that it came out? Wow. Whew. That is already so long ago or at least it feels like it. But anyways yeah guys so they just announced Fallout 76 which uh, there's some mixed feelings about it. I know a lot of people are scared it's gonna be a Fallout multiplayer game but I I, I have hopes for it. I'm, st I'm just waiting for the reveal, which, uh, the time of recording this, um, probably be, well, it's the 2nd of June, so you guys might be watching this around the 3rd, or maybe you're watching this at a later date, um, that the video, um, has come out, or, like, the official trailer and stuff. So far, we've only gotten a teaser trailer. But, yeah, Bethesda is doing a conference on it on the 10th, so we're gonna find out more then. But today, guys, we are going to be playing Fallout 4 from the beginning with some mods, not too many mods. Um, a lot of the mods are to just keep it tasteful in terms of what kind of abilities we have um, in the game. And one of those things is kind of just like abilities that make things a little bit easier because I wanted this to be more of a laid back playthrough. I just want to go through the game and just do a lot, um, build up a lot. And, you know, instead of doing, like, a survival playthrough, I wanted this to be a series I could commentate over a lot. And, you know, I've only played from the beginning of this game about two different times, and then I've just kind of goofed around the entire time. I've never really completely made it to the end game, if you could call it that. Like, you know, I've gotten maybe up to, like, level 40, and that's about it. So, you know, I just go around the game and goof around, but this time I want to try and get as high as we can, and I want to record all of it so you guys can come watch. So before I talk about too much here for now on, I just want to go over some of these basics for the series, and that is that each episode I make is going to be around the 20 minute mark, and it'll never be more than 30 minutes. Now, it might be like 32 minutes or something sometimes, but for the most part, I'm going to try and keep the episodes at this 20 minute mark, maybe a little bit more. And that's just because I do not want to have these extremely long episodes that I have to upload, and these extremely long episodes that you guys are stuck watching. I know... It can be frustrating watching such a long video, and it's nice to have it split up into parts. And um, the other thing about these videos is that uh, they're going to be pretty much unedited. I'm not going to be putting much editing into it if there's something, you know, extremely boring or, like, you know, I get out of my chair to check something. I'll cut that part out. But for the most part, I'm, I'm leaving a lot in. It's not going to be edited out. It's going to be fairly straightforward, just me playing the game. And, yeah, we're going to have fun with that. So, um, I think without further ado, guys, let's get into it. We're going to start a new game. Mods are currently loaded. So, let's see. So, uh, I'm genuinely curious. How many of you guys have played Fallout 4? Um, how many of you guys have gotten to the end of the game? Um, how many of you guys have, like, owned the game still, play it still? And uh, what, are you, what are you guys' thoughts on Fallout 76? Are you guys excited? Are you scared? Uh, just uh, let me know in the comments below. I'm definitely curious what people's thoughts are. I think I'm going to let the intro play out here since, um, you know, I just want to do a nice gameplay experience. So I'll let that play out. War. War never changes. In the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. But instead, something miraculous happened. He began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. 
years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, changes. And there it is. That's the Fallout 4 intro, which honestly is very cinematic. Really good intro. I think it was something really nice for the series. War gonna knock never them changes. Dead the hall tonight, huh? You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. I gotta stop hogging the mirror. Alright. So, this does not look like me. And I doubt I'm gonna get it to look like me or anything similar, but we're gonna we're gonna try and do a little bit similar. So I think as a start, What's my chin about you? is a lot more rounded. Yeah, it's much more like that. Uh, I have a very rounded chin. It's it's a soft chin. Yeah. I definitely have a very round face. So that's the face I fell in love with. Oh, oh of course it is. Everybody knows I'm just amazing looking. What do you think, Hunter? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? Hmm. Oh, very strapping. That's kinda like my eyebrows. I don't know. It's funny, the other night I was looking at my eyebrows in the mirror and I was like, I just noticed my eyebrows are like... Hello, handsome. They looked really good, I was just <laughs> surprised at my own eyebrows. I was like, there's just nothing really bad about them, and I was like, and it's weird because I don't do anything to take care of them or anything like that. They just kind of, they just be eyebrows, you know? So, oh, that's, that's my hairstyle <laughs> right there. So... Um, this first episode, unfortunately, is going to be a lot of just, like, getting into the game. Um, it's it's going to be the intro to Fallout 4. So, if you guys know the intro to Fallout 4, it's going to be pretty boring for you, unfortunately. But, um, I promise, after that part, it's going to be fun. So, uh, just hang in there, and we'll, we'll get into the game eventually, I promise. So, already looking at this hairstyle, I think this is the one I'm going to end up going with, because I do have longer hair, and I tend to put it in, like, a in a tie like that, like a bun. And I think warm warm black, which basically just looks like a color of brown, is gonna be the color I end up going with there. I, clean up pretty nice. I think so. Do you look as good as the day we met? Okay. You know, making yourself in a video game has always been very hard. I think a lot of you can agree. Such a cute nose. Is my nose cute? I don't know. It's so hard to make yourself in a video game. Jeez. It's not even that big, bro. What are you talking about? Your nose isn't big. Bro. Mm. You have great lips. You know that? My lips are tiny. I have tiny lips. I have like a little mouth. I do. I really do. I'm looking at it in the reflection of my computer. It's I got a tiny mouth. This does not look like me at all. <laughs> His face is so scrunched up. But uh, you know, I don't want to spend too much time on this because you know we we obviously need to play the game eventually. But uh, hello, handsome. I agree, dude. I agree. We are very handsome. We're a handsome person. Hmm. 
But, you see, this is the thing. This is not my skin color, and that's, that's the only thing I can think of right now. So, I, I believe the weather... Is that the skin? Yeah, weathered is the one that looks very, like, clean for the most part. Face. Um. T. I do love those lips. Looking good. If I do say so myself. Hmm. Okay, that's not what I meant to do. Uh, facial hair. I'm trying to get something that resembles me. Got a little bit of a... Like, only on my chin and neck right now. My mustache does not want to cooperate. But it's not like the full leprechaun. I mean, maybe. That doesn't look right, though. Or does it? Playboy? No, mine connects to my head, though. You know what? Instead of going for a, a character that's authentically like me, let's do one <laughs> that I want to be. <laughs> this is going to be a, what I want to be. Yeah, we'll, we'll go with that. We'll go with that. <laughs> what do you think, hon? Roguishly handsome or handsomely roguish? I don't know. What do, what do you think? As handsome as the day we met. Nice. Glad to hear it. Yeah, not bad. My handsome husband. Maybe the fact that my face is different? Could be it. It definitely could be that. What do you think? All right. I, I'm definitely spending way too much time on this, but it's okay because, you know, we're, we're having fun. I mean, we, we've got time. This, okay, so you know what? I, I know I said it'd never be over 30 minutes, but this first episode is going to be over 30 minutes just because it's, it's kind of hard for Fallout for to, you know, be under 30 minutes. So, uh, yeah, unfortunately, that's just the way it's going to have to be. I do have freckles, but mine are really tiny, so I don't think we're going to use these freckles. Ah, I can, I, can, I can make these work. I can make these work. If I just lighten them up. All right, whatever. Those are okay. Why, thank you. I know I do. Okay, so... I think I got the hairstyle I wanted. What is this, what is this anime hair? I do have a mod that adds more hair, but I believe it's definitely geared more towards female hair. Because, um... I'm only seeing a couple options here for the most part. That's all right, though. I think the Ronin one is going to be what we rock with. I do clean up pretty nice. Thank you for noticing. All right, and then body type. And because, of course, this is Fallout, we got to be we got to be ripped. You got to be ripped. It's Fallout. If you're not ripped, you're going to die. It's it's simple as that. Let's be real. So uh, I think the only thing is looking at my hair there in the mirror again, it didn't look as brown as I wanted it to because they did say it was warm black. So... I guess that's my fault for not taking them seriously. So, uh, let's do... I think... I mm, chestnut brown is very... It's very, very brown, if you get what I'm saying. I think the cool brown is definitely my color. Yeah, that's, that's my color. Alright. 
So, yeah, I think we're going to confirm it like that. That's the look I'm going for. And hold on real quick. Let me fix my FOV. Which, if you guys have never played Fallout, the FOV is historically awful. Oh, good morning. Thank you, Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Of course, thank you, thank you, thank you. Drink some of my coffee. Grognak the Barbarian in the Jungle of the Bat Babies. It's my favorite. That is my favorite comic for sure. Sugar bombs. 100% daily value of sugar. That is a lot of sugar, bro. You know that is a dangerous amount of sugar. Huh? Wow. Look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Oh, look at me. I look like a tank. <laughs> you know, I would you must say. Law diploma? Is that for me? I'm so proud of her. Oh, it's hers. You know, the I'm so proud of her comment out loud definitely helped me figure out who it was. Can we close doors, Jesus. Do we live in a barn? Do we live in a barn? We probably do. This, this looks like a barn with some of these doors. Alright. I did. I already did. Let me talk to my baby. Hi, Sean! Hi! Hi! Okay, well, what do you want? What do I do now? Oh, that's right. Oh, I gotta answer the door! Okay, let's go answer the door. Let's, let's go check it out. Let's go check it out. I love answering the door. It's, it's my favorite afternoon activity. Okay, first step back. <laughs> All right, should, you know what? I think I'm gonna try and be myself in this playthrough. I know in Fallout sometimes I love to choose the snarky, sarcastic voice options because they're just ten times funnier to hear. But I think this time around I'm gonna do the um, more polite option because that's that's definitely more the kind of person I am. I'm definitely more <laughs> this guy. You can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency. Is it now? I guess it would be. Then I'm glad you caught up with me. Oh, me too. You have no idea. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. I appreciate that. I'm being a, uh, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. I love how the sound right now is not synced up with the voices, but it's okay. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. The thing that confuses now, me is like my character acts like he doesn't know what the vault is. Event of but like, Total it's right behind my house. How did I not notice now, they're building this? Verify <laughs> some information. That's all. Sure. Let's do let's it. Do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, let's see. Let us see indeed. Okay, so here's my philosophy for this playthrough, and I've done this once before, and I'm going to do it again because it is absolutely amazing. I am going to bump my charisma to max because having max charisma at the start of the game is so much fun. It's just, it's, it's incredible how much, like, people... Like, I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's just incredible. It's so much fun when you can just talk your way out of every situation. You can get as much money as possible in a lot of situations, which getting as much money as possible is definitely kind of like the rude approach in the game, but it's the most effective approach in terms of bartering and making money. So I think we're going to do that. And because I want to be able to get some good stuff right off the bat, I'm going to bump luck to five because having good luck um, definitely is good for finding items that we need and high damage weapons, stuff like that. And I think having a little bit of strength is going to benefit us. We'll put strength to four. I'm going to bump endurance up. And I think the last thing I want to do is intelligence all the way. And then, unfortunately, agility and perception, we're going to do leveling up as we level up. But to start, I want to make sure I have these things. And then for my name, we're just going to use my real name, Cody. So I think that is everything we need. Wonderful. That's everything. I'm uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the <laughs> uh, Thank you. Thanks again. 
<laughs> Thanks, vault -Tec. Peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? For you and Sean, no price is too high. Yeah. <laughs> good answer. Good. Damn, hell you know it was a good answer. Codsworth. Woo! I forgot! Cosworth says your name! Hold on, say my name again. That's such a cool feature, I forgot that was a thing. Hey, Cosworth. I love it, that's so cool. God, I never really played with that. I mean, I've seen videos of people doing goofy names, but man, that is so cool. Hi, Sean, it's me again. I'm doing all right. Feeling like, feeling like today is gonna be a bad day. Just have a gut feeling. Yeah, he likes his mobile. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Probably. After breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. I don't know. Sounds a little bit more like nuclear winter. Or I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sounds like fun. Sounds like fun. Yeah. Codsworth, I swear to God, they better be dropping nukes or something for you to interrupt that family moment. Followed by, yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, we do have, we do have coming in. That's um, confirmed reports. I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and. Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we Codsworth. Now. Thank you. I, I told you. Let's Only go. bother me if it was nuclear war. You you did you did the right thing. Okay, I gotta go. <laughs> yeah, I'm registered apparently. When did the army get here? I'm the army. That was the whole exposition. I'm the army, right? He, he's trying to take his- Dude, we're about to blow up. Your sh your stuff does not matter. Jeez. That lady's skirt was just up, wasn't it? That wasn't just me, right? We need to get in. We're on the list. We are on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, okay you didn't really check if I was on the list. The, I mean, thank you, but... They're gonna blow up, honey. It's quite obvious. I mean, that or the, the vault tech people are gonna be super generous all of a sudden and let them in, but I highly doubt that. You have a you have a degree in law. How could you not figure that out? Hurry up! We're gonna blow up. Okay, whew, thank God. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. Yeah, almost. Send it down, we dude. You. Both of you. We love you too. Oof! We're all blind. We just lost all of sight. <laughs> our eardrums are gone too. Dude, send us down. You're the hero. He's the real hero for sending us. He's dead. That man died, saving me. My child, my wife, and, and a bunch of random strangers. What a legend. W what a legend indeed. We did it. I don't want to talk to Mr. We... Russell. The world just blew up. That's no fun. Okay. Everyone please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. Let's Don't move. Even worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home. Vault 111. A better future underground. Well, that's just dandy. I'm so happy to be down here. Hey, hello there. Once we seal the vault, we'll all be getting to know each other a lot more, I'm sure. Female and Great. Step over to the table and take a seat. Just step over to the table. Thanks. What? Hi, Doc. He'll show you where to go. All right. Well, thank you. Follow me. Well, let's go. See, this is our new home. Oh, it is. That's that's the thing. How convenient, right? 
Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Like, how convenient is it that right, right when the dude came, the world blew up? <laughs> Hopefully not like 200 years or something. Like, <laughs> that'd be crazy. Alright. Let's get frozen. Woo woo! Is my vault suit not already on? Oh, it's not. I'm wearing my t-shirt to flex. Daddy's ready. Wow, I, I put that on magically. I That's the best way to do it, I guess. You're gonna put your clothes on, might as well just teleport. Well, she put hers on! What?! Do, do we not have baby pods? I feel like that's a health hazard. Because wouldn't everyone need, like, custom settings? Is freezing a baby even that smart? Or healthy? I guess freezing isn't healthy in general, but... Healthier for the baby? Do we have a healthier baby option? Is this heaven? Or am I just frozen? I think I'm just frozen. It's really cold. What happened? I'm awake. Ugh. Why is it so cold? Ugh. I'm wearing such clothes. Who is that? Is that my kid? Oh, let me out! <laughs> Bro, she got him. Think how different of a game it would be. Think how different of a game it would be, love speak of the devil, if she didn't get shot. Like, if she just gave the baby to the scientist. What'd you call me? Oh, the backup. Huh. Like, think, think how different this game would have been, because the whole thing with this game is like, they killed my wife, they took my son, I'm gonna find my son. What if they never killed your wife? What if, like, the whole time, like, you, your wife was still alive, like, she gave the baby willingly, and then you both wake up together, like... That'd be pretty crazy, wouldn't it? <laughs> Or do you think they'll still just kill her anyways, because they're mean? We gotta get out of here. It's cold. Come on! There has to be a release! Come on, come on, come on! Oh, God! Open sesame! No, oh, it did. Kind of messed up. And I'll get shot back. I promise. All right. Well, I got the wedding ring from her, which God, you can get so many caps for that ring, but I don't think I've ever been able to sell it in any of my playthroughs. I just feel so morally wrong with doing that. Like, it's a wedding ring. You can't just sell it to some scavenger in the wasteland, especially when the entire story is about like finding your son for your wife and stuff. Like. There's just some, something so wrong, I think, about... I mean, like, yep, I'll sell it for, for a couple caps. Well, I don't know, man. I guess survival of the fittest does take over there. Okay, so one of the mods I do have is Weightless Junk, and that's just because managing the junk system in Fallout 4 is, is always a pain in the butt. I, for survival, it's a ton of fun, but for the playthrough that I'm going through right now, I don't want to have to manage that. I'd much rather just have the, um, you know, just the, the joy of picking up whatever I want and not worrying about it. I forgot to grab the baton. I was like, where is that? Alright, so we got the baton. Um, there's gonna be some rad roaches. My favorite, you know, those big old radioactive cockroaches. Oh, there's one right now. Speak of the devil. Oh, there's another baton in here. Oh, that's good. I'll take that one too. Why not? Dang, I almost <laughs> didn't get hit. Roaches? I agree. Giant roaches. What the hell? No, no. Now is not the time for sitting. Now is the time for action. What am I doing? No, stop. Yeah, your wife didn't just die or anything. And, you know, the world isn't over. 
take take your time, take a seat, enjoy enjoy the weather, you know, relax. <laughs> oh, I didn't actually mean to drink that water. But uh I guess I guess I did the second time for sure. Okay. So I think we've almost got all the junk we need. Or we don't we don't need any of it, but I'm I'm grabbing it because I, I feel like it. So, okay, yeah, um, where do I go? Oh yeah, oh wait, hold, ooh, 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 wait, 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 I want to get the Red Menace Hollow Tape. If you don't know what the Red Menace Hollow Tape is, it is a, basically it's Donkey Kong. It's like a video game you can load into your Pip-Boy, so I want that. And then we will take you and dispose of you properly because you're disgusting and I hate you. You're a giant cockroach. I hate cockroaches. Jesus, I didn't think it'd jump over the railing. Oh, that one's really big. Ew, ew, it's heavy too. Oh god. Why are they so big? Um This guy's dead. Activate skeleton? I don't think that's a thing. Um More radioactive cockroaches. Let's drink some water. Cause it's the easy way to heal. Some stim packs and a gun, which is gonna help us tremendously in not dying. I love the historic lack of food items around the vault, but I think actually in one of the hollow or not hollow tapes, but logs, it explains why there's no food. So I guess I shouldn't be talking. Come back later for you. Yeah, I'll come back later for you, which. Every time, I always forget to come back. Always. I don't think I've ever actually gotten it. <laughs> um, I think that's everything in here that... Oh, we gotta open the door with the the, the panel. Uh, open evacuation tunnels. There we go. Okay, so we can leave now. We're basically there. Oh, there's gonna be some cockroaches on the wall and stuff. Get away! <laughs> god, they're so creepy! Oh god! <laughs> and they can jump. It's not fair. It's disgusting. Oh. Uh, ooh, they're giving me like I'm actually getting chills right now looking at them. Oh god! <laughs> oh god! <laughs> I can't. It's disgusting. Oh Jesus! Okay, is there a water fountain somewhere? Because I don't want to use my stim packs yet, but I'd like to keep my health up. Um, isn't there usually rad roaches in this room? No, oh, we don't have the pit boy yet, so I can't use the light. Dang it! Ooh, ooh, ooh! Jesus, you scared me. Okay. Um, all right, sweet. So everything's dead. I think the only thing left that we can do now is grab the pit boy, or actually. In this version, I have the pip pad, which it's not going to be on my wrist. You hold the pip pad, but the the pip pad just looks it's it's such a cool mod. It's very unique. See, look at that. Look how cool that is. <laughs> Hi, old boy. All right, cool. So. You guys might have heard, I've, I've been sneaking salt and vinegar chips this entire video. Look at that. I grabbed those glasses for a reason. Those do not look like my glasses, but they'll, they'll do. Alright, let's open this door up. With my iPad on my wrist. Alright, let me out. I forgot, I, I do have a mod that, um, it makes movement a lot more, um, I guess realistic is a good word. So like, jumping. I don't jump as high, I don't sprint as fast, I don't move as fast in general. Movement is reduced a lot. So it's gonna be a lot more realistic in terms of like, what my movement is. So, 
Damn, look at my character's butt. Like, what? He's got that, like, super sculpted butt. <laughs> These suits, man. That's why they make us wear them. They, they like looking at that. There's nothing wrong with regular clothes, but they're like, hey, what if we put everybody in uh, special suits so we can stare at their butts? <laughs> I'm having too much fun with this. Okay, um, so we can change something if we wanted to, but I think I'm gonna just settle with what I've got. I think I like everything, the appearance of our character, and all that. But I think we're, we're good to go. As you can see, I also have a custom loading screen. And you might have saw earlier, custom loading menu too. Or main menu, not loading menu. Just because they're definitely fun to have. And here we are. We're out of the vault. And it's, it's very bright. Ooh. Oh gosh. Why is it so bright? Why wasn't there sunglasses down there? Wow. No way. No, oh, that's right. They get, oh, so I have a mod that gives you backpacks, which is a really cool mod. So I have that. Um, desired spawn rate. Ah. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll do the default, just for reason. So yeah, um, all right, guys. You know what I think I'm gonna do? I'm gonna end this episode here because we are we're getting close to 40 minutes, and I know I said I didn't want to go over 30 minutes, but that first Fallout episode always does have to be a little long just to establish the game. So guys, thank you for watching the video. If you did enjoy, please be sure to subscribe if you're not already, and drop a like for the channel. And if you guys want to see more videos and want to keep up with this Fallout series, I'd highly recommend hitting that bell icon. And uh, thanks guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in part two. Bye guys.